All right, guys, we got mail. I'm about to open it up, and here we go. OEM grills. I ordered these about three months ago because there's a long story. Unfortunately, I will not be installing them today. I will be powder coating my mesh on my hood, and then I'm gonna get going to what's done to my car because I know a lot of you guys have been wondering. And I did take off the carbon trunk. I did miss the wing, so I had to throw it back on. And this is now for sale, so if you're in the Arizona, Phoenix, Tempe area. Hit me up, I will let it go. Throw me an offer. One hour later. Is it true you can handle yourself? Dang, his door closed by himself. <laughs> Automatic closing door. We have made it to the mall. We're gonna go eat now. I got my grill for the front of the hood right here. That goes in the hood scoop. And we're gonna be taking this out. I'm gonna be powder coating it gloss black or probably just flat black, just so it doesn't look faded and ugly. So we're gonna get to that today. All right, so there's really nothing to it. It's just some clips holding it in. You just gotta be careful with it. And it should come off like that. And there we go. Used to be black, but I don't know what happened. But yeah, this video is gonna be me powder coating this at my dad's shop and what's the end of my car. Got the grills, me, J Dog ass. Lock your car before they steal my grill. <laughs> I hope nobody saw that. Make sure you wear your protection before going in. Like I said, we're gonna shoot them on black, textured black. Eventually. We got about six more minutes till we gotta pull it out and let it cool off and should be good to go. All right, so it is time to take them out now. If you guys aren't familiar with what powder coat is, there's a lot of videos that will explain it to you. But it's basically powder that liquidizes and spreads out, becomes, I guess, a solid, if you wanna say. Let's see how they came out. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it made a big difference. It looks way better now. Very, very nice. This is also why I chose to powder coat it. You can bend it as much as you want. And it won't chip. Obviously it has its limits, but, but yeah, it came out really good. Very happy. I'm gonna be doing my intake and probably manifold soon. So that'll be a separate video. That way you guys can see the process of it, powder coating. But yeah, once again, shout out my dad for letting me use his stuff. Two hours later. Grill is in. I'm gonna take it to the car wash, get it washed up, and continue on the video of what's done to my car with j Dog Smooth. Sorry, the last video was kind of short. I've been slacking on uploading videos of my car, so hopefully this one will make up for it.
All right, guys, we have made it to the park. So I made a list. So we're gonna start with the front. Um, I have a Sabon carbon fiber hood. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I drove to California for it. I need to get it rebuffed and polished or a new clear on it. it started fading again, but it's whatever. So yeah, it's a Sabon RC style hood. I have the carbon eyelids that were wrapped in 3M black, gloss black. And then I have an eBay lip. Uh, as for the front, the grill is missing. I have it at my house. I just bought new ones, the OEM ones. Long story, they fell off on the freeway. I got hella horns in the front, powder coated gloss red. And then I got the STI front license plate delete. It's pretty much it for the front. I got 2015 STI BBS limited wheels. I believe they came on 2015, 2016, 2017. I'm not sure, but they're from the newer STIs. They're up for sale for like a thousand bucks and I got them for $300. You already know, I'm up for those steals. The roof was done in Avery gloss black. As well as the roof vein was done in Avery gloss black. And then I got an APR, carbon fiber license plate frame that I just installed and wrapped gloss black as well. Shout out this man because he wrapped it. And Rally Armor mud flaps, OZS license plate, because I'm OZS. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the exterior. Nothing crazy, pretty clean, simple. I love this car. And now, what you guys have been waiting for. So, it's a little bit dirty, but I have a parent rotated turbo kit. Uh, I'm running a Garrett GT 3076R turbo. Yeah, Cosworth manifold, HKS ball valve, 1000 cc injectors, parent AOS. Yeah, it's a parent front mount intercooler. I know these fit kind of rough, but I got it to fit a little bit better because I had to cut it up right here. Make it fit a little bit better. And then I got a carbon cover. Need to tighten that down. It is running on E85. And yeah, I'm running a Walbro 255 fuel pump. It's currently at 25 pounds of boost. So I'm doing about 380 wheel. Yeah, nothing crazy. The boost is turned down, but yeah, this is pretty much it. I have learned that when you go E85, you can't let it sit for a while because your fuel lines might get ate up. I learned that the hard way, but it's whatever, so. I haven't had too many problems with it. It's been an amazing build. I've had like three problems. Uh, the fuel lines got ate up because of the E85 that was sitting in it for like a month because I was saving up money for a clutch and the clutch went out on this. Now I have a Exidy stage two clutch. It's been doing pretty well. It's been treating me all right. I'm running an Nvidia exhaust. Sounds perfect, but yeah, it's an amazing car. I love this thing. All right, guys, we have made it back to my house. Um, I'm pretty sure I went over everything. I know I did miss uh, the wastegate. I have a Tile 44 millimeter wastegate and drilled and slotted rotors, but pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I went, I covered it all, but I'm going to try to put everything else in the description. Hope you guys have an amazing day and next video should be good. I, sh I want to buff and polish it, but I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing. But stay tuned guys, subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And this is my carbon trunk. If you want to buy it, hit me up on Instagram. Fits 2002 to 2007. Impreza, WRX STIs. And yeah, let me know. But yeah guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And peace. Mesa.